Hi guys, so this is my final festive Friday video because we're nearly at Christmas, woohoo! I'm very excited about Christmas Day but I'm also quite excited to let my brain calm down a bit because I feel like over the last sort of month it's just been this constant, oh, I need to get this, I need to get that, what am I gonna, what present am I gonna get for them and oh I need to wrap that, I need to write those cards. How are you finding the run up to Christmas? Have you been loving it or are you feeling a bit stressed out and looking forward to it all being over? Let me know in the comments below. So yeah, in today's video I'm going to show you what I put in the girls stockings so they each have a stocking and I'm not quite sure if the stockings are meant to come from Santa or from us what do you do do your Santa do your Santas do your stockings come from Santa or do they come from the parents because I'm not quite sure what the way to do it is but yeah let me know what you do I guess we can do whatever but yeah I'm not really sure we've obviously got separate uh, presents that Santa is hopefully going to bring but yeah, I will show you what's in my stocking in a minute. But before I do that, just a couple of things. One is to say this is going to be my last video of 2017. Not ever, hopefully. I'm going to be taking a little break over Christmas just to spend lots of time with my family. But I'll be back in January in 2018 uh, with an exciting announcement. Well, I hope it's exciting for you guys. It's something I'm excited about. I've wanted to chat to you about for a while, but I haven't been able to. So um, just for a few different reasons. So yeah, I will be revealing all in January. Hopefully it'll be my first video, although I also have a unique baby boy name video to, to go up at some stage. But yeah, check out those videos at the beginning of January. Subscribe if you are new to my channel and also press the little notification bell because that will let you know when I put up a new video. And by the way, the video and the news may not be what you're thinking it is, so you're gonna have to wait and see. Anyway, the other thing I just wanted to quickly show you is uh, I forgot a couple of items in my Christmas Eve box last week. One hadn't arrived in time and I did mention that in the video and the other I just completely forgot about until I found it a couple of days ago and basically the other thing that I wanted to just quickly show you from my Christmas Eve box last week is this book because I just love it it's all about Maidstone where we live even though I'm from Northern Ireland I live in Maidstone in Kent and it's called Sumter's Sleigh is on its way to Maidstone and it talks about the different areas of Maidstone so if you're um from Maidstone then it can talk about the area that you live in. I think they do them for all different areas throughout the UK and I got that in the works if you're wondering where I got that from and then I don't know if you've heard of the works but you know that place it's online so you can check if they've got any in your area and the other thing I just wanted to quickly show you was this activity pack which hadn't arrived in time for the Christmas Eve video Christmas Eve box video I did last week but it has now arrived and I also got this in the works and it was down from 9 99 to 2 pounds 50 so I thought for 2 pounds 50 you know this will do nicely and it comes with four activity books there's sticker books coloring books um what other ones are there Christmas coloring books puzzle books and a doodle book so yeah I thought the girls would enjoy that so that is going to go in their Christmas Eve box if you want to see the rest of the stuff that I put in my Christmas Eve box then I will link that video below and you can check it out right now on from the Christmas Eve boxes on to Christmas Day and the girls stockings I absolutely love filling their stockings and thinking of little things to get them so these are the girls stockings I got these last year and they are handmade and they're personalized with their names on them. So this one says Sophia, this one says Sienna. I just really like the material. I got these from eBay. I have tried to find um, where I got them from to link it below, but it doesn't look like they're being sold anymore. But there are lots of other types of personalized stockings on eBay. So if you wanna check it out, just put in personalized Christmas stocking. And there are some really lovely ones there. I know it's probably a bit too late to order it, but for next year, then if you're thinking of getting one, you could check uh, eBay out. Right, so that is what the stockings look like. And I will now show you what I've got in them. Okay, so the first thing I've got for both girls is a book and I got these from the website called Wonderbly that they do personalized books. I do love personalized things. There's a few little personalized bits in here. 
So I got this um, one for Sophia and it's called The Little Girl Who Lost Her Name and it's all about her learning, all about her name and as she's at school and is learning spelling I thought this would be really good for her and I'm sure she'll really enjoy that because it's all about her name. And then for Sienna I got this one which is titled A Letter for the Littlest Bear and what I love about this one is that the characters in it can be personalised so as well as having her name at the end. So she is the littlest bear, so she is Sienna. We have her cousin in there, who's called Cousin Jensen. So Cousin Jensen Bear. And we should have Auntie Natalie Bear, that's my sister. And we have like Nanny and Granddad and Gran. So it's all really personalized and Sister Sophia. So I thought that was really, really lovely and just something a little bit different. Then onto the night, some sweet treats. I got them both, uh, um, if I can find it, a tub of Smarties. You know, there's a few sweet things in here, but then that's what stockings are for. And if you can't eat chocolate and sweets on Christmas day, when can you? Then, oh, I've got them some pencil cases for their, well, actually for their pens, because there are always pens lying around our house. So I got them some pencil cases. This one is huge. I didn't realize the size of it. I bought it online and uh, yeah, pretty big, but I thought this would be good just for putting their pens in. I actually had planned to also put some pens in their stockings, some coloring pens, but we ran out of pens last week and the girls really wanted to draw. So I gave them their pens then. So they've already got them. So they're not going in their stockings, but hopefully they can put them away in their new pencil cases. Right then, next thing is I got Sienna some little clips and I got Sophia some big clips. She really, really wanted a Jojo Siwa clip. I think that's how you pronounce her surname. Um, she loves listening to her songs. Do any of your kids watch Jojo Siwa or is it just me? So I got her these bows because she'd really, really wanted um, some of these bows. So I got her a purple one and pink one. And then Sienna, I just got some little clips that have butterflies on them. And those were from Boots. These I got from The Entertainer. I got Sienna some socks. And I got Sophia some pants because Sienna is still in nappies so she is not in pants yet. Sophia, it's always just a little tradition thing that we get her some new pants and those were just both from Morrison's. I haven't been to Morrison's in ages but I popped in there earlier and got those. Next thing, I love these. I saw these in the local um, museum in Maidstone and they're called Woody Pegs. Oh, I dropped one. And they're called Woody Pegs and they were only 2 dollars and I had wanted to get the personalized ones because they actually say, they have ones that say their name on them, but they didn't have one in Sophia's name. They had Sienna and they had Sophia with an F, but my Sophia is a PH. So I got the blank ones, which then I'm going to write, I got a pen, so I'm gonna then write their names on there um, to make them more personalized. But I thought these were really cute because they're a magnet, but they also have a little peg here to put their artwork and things. And at the moment, Sophia's coming home with lots of different pictures that she's drawn at school. And Sienna's really starting to draw like at the childminder and things. So it's a lovely way I thought to keep their pictures separate and up on the fridge. Right, then on to some more sweety things in here. And I got these little jars of sweets. That one is for Sienna. Let me just open it another hand. And this one is for Sophia, so they've got some flumps in there and a whole mixture and some little candy canes. Lots of fluff on everything. But I thought they would love these because they're sweets. So they've got a Christmas theme to them with a the reindeer and Santa. And also the jars they can use then to have some Christmas drinks in afterwards. So I thought they'd really love these. I got these at a craft fair, actually at the museum, which I was at the other day. And they were four pounds each. But I'm sure you can get similar things online and things. But yeah, I just thought they were something a little bit different rather than just getting a bag of sweets. Right, we're on to the final few things. So, the uh, next thing is a cloth. I always get them a new cloth and it's one of those ones that starts off tiny and then you put it in the water and then they expand into a cloth. So the girls always love that and they both have their glittering face cloths as well, you know, add a bit of glitter. So I got Belle for Sophia because she loves Belle and Beauty and the Beast and then I got Ariel for Sienna. So yeah, those are just an extra little thing. And those I got from Boots as well. And then second to last thing, another edible thing. Something I think, you know, everyone puts in their stocking 
are some coins, some chocolate coins. It's just tradition to always put some chocolate coins in there, so that's something that I always put in. And the final thing is another traditional thing, which I always got when I was younger, an orange. So I'm gonna put an orange in their stocking, and both my girls really, really like oranges, actually, so hopefully they will get a bit of fruit on Christmas Day and not just lots and lots of chocolate and sweets. So that is everything that I put into my girls' stockings, so that's everything I'm putting in this year. Obviously each year it varies a little bit. Let me know what you're putting into your children's stockings and yeah, I'd love to hear what all you like to put in for your kids. Thank you for checking out this video and all my Festive Friday videos. I hope you enjoyed them. I hope you have an amazing Christmas. As I said, I'll be back in January with some news and I can't wait to share it with you. I can't wait to chat more with you. Have a wonderful Christmas and New Year. Take care everyone. Bye.